well-known entrepreneur and retail king Raymond Ackerman has been honored by the Free Market Foundation today. Well, Frances Heard attended the event in Bryanston and she's with Raymond Ackerman. Frances, good afternoon. Tell us more. Thank you very much, Devin. Well, Raymond Ackerman, uh, very well known for, for building up pick and pay. What is perhaps less known is uh, that the pick and pay story would have been very different if Raymond Ackerman hadn't uh, lost his job at the age of 35 when he was running a whole host of checkers stores. So I'm with the man honoured today uh, by the Free Market Foundation. Mr Ackerman, can you take us back to, to when you were 35? It's a great story now, um, but I'm sure not fantastic then. It really wasn't. My wife was expecting our fourth child and I had no capital. I just had the, the income from my job in Checkers and uh, it was a very rough time. I, I disagreed with the board as a young guy. They were older. The, they were the bosses and I radically disagreed on quite a few things and I said my piece and eventually they said to me, you're out. And I had two weeks salary. Um, I didn't know whether to join another company whether to go back to university, but I had four children, I couldn't afford that. And an American said to me, you need 99% guts and 10% capital. If you've got a good idea, I'll help you. And with my accountants and some friends, I'll help you get the money to start a business against these giant stores. I, I loved what you said today, that you don't need to be uh, born an entrepreneur, because I think a lot of people disqualify themselves because they think I don't have that risky, gutsy uh, gene. You're absolutely right. I felt I was just a good, solid company man. I didn't know that I had that inside me until, frankly, I knew it on the sports field because I used to take chances with my tackling and rugby. but. Um, when I lost my job and I heard this guy say, you need 90% guts, I said, I know I've got it. And I had to take a lot of chances, but it worked. We formed a company, we got people to back us, and uh, we had to go through some really difficult times. But you're not born an entrepreneur. Often conditions occur where you have to either rise up or sink down. I was going to say, what, are you, what can you say to young entrepreneurs today? Uh, because they may look at you and say, well, you were in a world where white capital was protected. Um, the, the, the perspective is much broader now, a much bigger pool of people. Can they still learn from your story? True. I, I, yes, they can, because I, I advise them at the, the academies that I mentioned we run. Is For God, goodness sake, before opening your own business, work for four, five, six years, depending on your age, even into your early 30s and learn, learn mistakes that you've made, learn good things and be ready then if you've got the right mission that you can succeed. And today I believe we'll look back in 20 years time and lots of young entrepreneurs who have the courage but they should learn first working in business and learning mistakes. I hope you're right. And, and can we move to, to retailing? Because uh, somebody was talking about the world you were in when people weren't even trusted with, with trolleys. You had to hand them their goods. Now it's so different. And, and I wonder what you think when Walmart comes in and there's a big focus on supply chains, when the issue is now about the race up uh, into Africa. Is, is retailing different? Can retailers and businessmen still have that, that soul that they used to have? I believe they can. Look, there's going to be a lot of, of home buying that's growing apace as well. But I still believe that in 20 years' time we'll have good, solid stores and shopping centres as well. And I do believe there's a huge growth in Africa and an exciting growth in Africa. And that's all very different from 20 years ago. So I believe that aspiring, uh, aspiring business guys have a great opportunity. I'm telling all my grandchildren, 12 of them, if you want to educate, have an education in some universities overseas, come back here. You can make a great success in this country, whatever your field is. I'm really, I believe very strongly in the future of this country of ours, despite all our problems. And, and finally, how do you feel about pick and pay? Do you still um, have this fatherly attitude to, to pick and pay? And, and things weren't great for a while, but the, the turnaround, it seems, is materialising. Do you believe that? I do. It's been difficult retiring and not interfering. I give advice, some of which is listened to, some of which isn't listened to, which I can understand. And I'm there every morning and up to about 2 or 3 o'clock 
and then I'm involved with all our social responsibility projects. So I'm very much involved, but not in the day-for-day -day running of the business. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Raymond Ackerman, he was joining us uh, just outside the offices of the Free Market Foundation, honoured today and inspiring young entrepreneurs. Back to you in the studio. Oh, inspiring indeed. Thanks very much, Francis Hurd.